Well, if you haven't guessed already, grid square connectors are to grid square bases what wall connectors are to walls. They slide in under that first layer in the grid square bases and are held in place by grid square plugs. So let's get started. Grid square connectors have a lot in common with templates in that they are printed out and then glued onto cardboard. That actually creates the base of the connector itself, and it's to make it a lot easier for you to create these pieces. Instead of printing out a template and then tracing it on and making these complex shapes, you just print out the piece itself and glue it on a cardboard. And once they're dried on there, I'm just gonna cut them out with scissors. And we'll take and cut out the more complex areas, the part that'd be hard to do with scissors. That you'll do with a utility knife with the connector laying on top of a piece of foam board. If you're trying to cut it right on your work surface, you're gonna spend a lot of your hand strength just pushing through that cardboard. But when you put the connector on top of a piece of foam board and you push through the blade and then pull it across the cardboard, it is so much easier. So here I'm making a single sheet depth cutter. You may be familiar with these depth cutters if you've made clip-ons in the Castles and Catacombs manual, but if not, I'm gonna show you how to make one here. It's just a single sheet of foam board wrapped in masking tape, and then you put a utility knife blade on top of that single sheet and hot glue on top of the blade and the foam board strip like this. And we're gonna use this to cut part of the connector itself to the right height, and we'll get to that in a little bit. But first, we're gonna start by gluing the first sheet of foam board into that gutter. And you can just do a strip of whatever. Here I'm using a strip from uh, Grid Squares. Glue that in place. And you can use another strip of foam board to make sure it's straight and into that little dashed gutter there. And once that's completely dry, we're gonna use our depth tool to cut it uh, into its final height. So we're just gonna run it along that strip of foam board with the depth cutter laying on top of the connector. And that's gonna give us a piece of foam board that is one sheet thick. And that's exactly what we want. There you go, perfect. And then we're gonna take and use the two sheet thick scoring sled from the accompanying tools and templates file and cut out a two sheet thick piece of foam board. And that's gonna go on the other side of the connector and run right along underneath where the other strip of foam board is that you glued on. You can always kind of check it by looking at the ends there. You also kind of want to make sure it's perpendicular to the connector itself. You know, sometimes it'll be a little angled from your cut. There you go, looks good. And you can use a little piece of foam board to make sure it's straight, looks good. And then it's just a matter of trimming off the bits that run past the uh, base of the connector. All right, that's ready for paint. Now for these, you can paint them in regular quick coat and you only just have to paint the foam areas. So these are great. They just slide into the grid bases like this and then you use uh, grid plugs to hold them together. You can see it, there's that top piece that we cut that's one sheet thick and then there's the two sheet thick sheet on the bottom. This is a cross grid connector. This is the, probably the most complicated looking one, but you make it the same way. You glue in a strip of foam board in each one of those gutters there. So here I'm doing one long one in the middle and two extra pieces to do the cross part. And then we're gonna use our single sheet depth cutter to cut off the excess, just like we did for the other one. There you go. Now we got the one side done. Now we're gonna add some two sheet thick strips to the other side, just like we did for the straight connector.
Then we'll use a sheet of foam board just to make sure it's straight. And also take a look and make sure it lines up well with the strip on top. And then we'll add the last two little bits. And it's always a good idea to get rid of the extra hot glue if you can. And then just trim off the edges and there you go, ready for paint. And again, you only have to paint the foam board areas on there. These are nice because they connect together multiple tiles, uh, but you definitely want to make sure you use them with grid square borders to sort of reinforce the outside edges. There's more on sort of the best ways to connect these things together in the modular floor tiles manual, so be sure to check that out. So if you haven't already, you can get started right now on your Terreno journey by downloading the Terreno construction manuals at GameGearMaster.com. They are consistently rated five stars and come with a 14 day hassle free money back guarantee. That means if Terreno's not for you, no problem. You'll get your money back, no questions asked. Happy crafting.